It Gets Better Canada is calling to put an end to gay conversion therapy. The nonprofit wants the federal government to take action on this issue. Conversion therapy is when children are forced into taking part in unscientific treatments de designed to, quote, cure them of their homosexuality. It Gets Better Canada's executive director, Chris Gudgeon, joins me now. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, Ben, thank you. Um, uh, give me a broad sense of what these treatments entail. Um, there's a whole range of things. Uh, often they include some behavioral therapy. Um, in the old days, it used to be aversion therapy, but now <clears throat> you might be uh, shown images of sexual images and you'd be uh, encouraged to feel certain things. There's also a lot of um, group therapy where they talk about things, but in a way it's kind of uh, a, a coercive peer pressure thing. And there's a lot of uh, just pray praying, trying to pray the gay away. Uh, you know, I've got to think that uh, kids uh, who are struggling with their identity and their sexual orientation and who perhaps haven't come out to the world yet uh, are already feeling isolated, marginalized. I can't imagine that a therapy like this helps them get to a place where they need to be. No, every single uh, psychiatric association and medical association, you know, practically in the world, the Canadian Psych Psychiatric Association, the World Psychiatric Association, World Health Organization, uh, European Union, they've all come out strongly against conversion therapy. They say there's, there's no disease, so there's nothing to cure. But so, so to me, I hear that, I think, all right, low-hanging fruit. This has got to be the easy stuff that a government would deal with. And yet, I read here that uh, Vancouver is the first city in Canada to ban therapy. Ontario and Manitoba have banned it as provinces. Why have no other provinces got on, gotten on board with this? Why is this so hard to, to, to take care of? I think uh, a lot of times things are just, what's your political priority? And there's nobody been driving this. We started a change.org campaign called Right to Be You Canada about three weeks ago. We thought we'd get 5,000 signatures. We've got 25,000 already. And I think that I think that's uh, the value of something like this is just getting it on the radar and getting governments to notice it. Well, knowing that change happens in <clears throat> steps oftentimes, what's the first step that you would be happy with seeing? What we're actually going to ask the federal government to do, because we want a national response, is to make a statement against conversion therapy. Um, that doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. If you're a kid uh, at, it's, you know, in a remote part of Canada and your government comes out in support of you, that's a powerful statement. And I think that's a simple place to begin. The next step is for the federal government to look at ways that they can impact and put an end to conversion therapy. We're not suggesting a specific solution. Mm. You know, the feds are the experts on policy and legislation, and they need to look at the issue and come up a w with a way so there's a consistent response across the country. How widespread is this? <clears throat> it's really hard to tell because a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, organizations that put this on kind of do it under the radar, so they might have a camp on or a retreat oh. or some kind of youth session. So there's no idea of, no there's no specific idea of numbers, but notionally, in our campaign, uh, the responses that we get from people, the comments are broken down into two things. First of all, it's people saying, I can't believe this is going on in Canada. And secondly, it's people saying, I went through conversion therapy. We have thousands of people uh, who've, who've said that to us already. So it's pretty widespread. Well, It Gets Better Canada wants people to speak up on this issue. How can people get involved? The easiest way is to go to change.org and uh, just uh, search Right to Be You Canada or go to itgetsbetter.org dot org backslash uh, Canada and you'll be right to the link so you can join the petition. You know, we were, we were talking about it during the break and, and as I was reading about this and this conversion therapy and praying the gay out of people, it reminded me in a lot of ways, uh, and I'm not an ex expert on this issue as well, uh, on, um, on the residential school system where I tried to, you know, educate the Indian out of the native uh, and praying the gay seems like it's borrowing from the same language and there's a national outrage today over the residential school system. Maybe uh, with, uh, with, with this movement we can get people to feel the same way yeah. about gay conversion therapy. I hope so. I mean, the residential school thing was very organized and came from the very top and this is a little more grassroots but a, a federal response a national response would go a long way to, to changing things. Chris Gudgeon thank you so much for being here. Thank you Ben I appreciate it. And you can find all the details on our website.